Let's start off here, getting a look at the latest COVID-19 prediction models for you this morning, finding out from researchers what the long-term future looks like and what will happen as we reach the end of the pandemic. ABC Action News reporter Larissa Scott explains what you can expect in the coming months and years and when we may see another spike in cases. For the short term, the COVID-19 model prediction show cases will continue to decrease in Florida. Cases are coming down. Um, big time. Researchers believe this period of lower cases will continue for a while, but will eventually start to rise again. That is depending on the duration of immunity. If people continue to wear masks as they are now, and if our immunity stays the same, then we'll see a resurgence. Uh, that'll occur only next year, in the summer of next year. The good news is the spike won't be as big as the Omicron wave, which peaked around 84,000 cases per day. The coming peaks will be about 16,000 at peak, you know, uh, cases to 18,000 at cases. However, if you lift all current social measures and no one wears a mask anymore, then the models show the next wave will come sooner. That'll look uh, like in February, you know, February and March. Researchers say these spikes are to be expected because our immunity is waning. It won't last. And I think people just don't recognize, um, you know, that fact that much that this, you know, the future is going to be like this oscillations, you know, uh, in cases. With emerging medications to treat COVID-19 and the possibility for additional vaccines, we're closer to this virus eventually becoming like the flu. Over time, the repeat waves will get smaller and smaller. Ultimately, it becomes endemic. So it'll settle into an endemic state, which means there'll be background transmission, but, you know, most people are immune. But researchers say we can't rule out a mutation. Virus variants are still a threat, especially since vaccinations are lagging globally. We don't know uh, a new variant that might emerge, you know, and if that variant were to punch holes in the um, vaccine induced immunity, then we are back to square one. That's what they're watching closely. In Tampa, Larissa Scott, ABC Action News.